how important is it bringing a new employee into just like the mission and the company culture and seeing the seeing the values and their purpose of really being there because yeah some people are just going to want to punch the clock mm -hmm. they're going to want a nine to five just want some benefits get some payroll and get out of there but i feel like your better employees they understand the mission they yeah. understand the values they have a purpose their personal purpose kind of fits into the purpose of the business how much are you kind of trying to see that or or help people kind of fall into that yeah i, I think we try to I try to hire people that I think I would get along with and I would work well with and I, I think are cool. I think that, people, that matters. People, I always say people yeah, I'd want to go golfing with and just yeah. sit around and drink with for a couple hours. With, you know, yeah. Like, yeah, and if, I'm, if I've interviewed you and my teammates have interviewed you and they, they don't feel that from them and they're going to be in a leadership role of some type, it's like this just isn't going to work out. So we try to hire people that are like us, that are able to have fun uh, and want to change lives. And it don't work out for everybody either. Like sometimes you got to just – pull the plug on, on uh, certain people if it's if it's not working out. And, you know, I remember a long time ago when I was running uh, Alpen House Fitness back in Amsterdam, I had a guy who was my friend. I hope he does not listen to this, but uh, he was a buddy way back when, and he worked the desk. And, that's, and I remember him when I was growing up, he worked the desk when I was just a guy lifting at the gym. So I ended up taking over the gym five, six years later, and he wasn't a great fit. I liked him. We became friends. He just wasn't a good front desk person, but it was like kind of his career and he wasn't a guy that was going to change anything for himself. And I remember at one point I went to my superior and I said, this guy, you got boats and RVs there and he's, he's a gearhead. So he's kind of like into that stuff. And I said, I think you should pull him over there. I don't think he, I just don't think he's a great fit here, but I just think that's a passion for him. He doesn't know it to this day. They ended up pulling the position and they put him over there and now he's got a career. He's managing a bunch of their departments and he, He's doing great, and he loves it, and he, he'll never know that I was the one who kind of pushed him out, but I I did it for him. <laughs> so You said, get the fuck out, but I want to help you. <laughs> yeah, this is for you, I promise, but yeah, it was. <laughs> that, that's been my biggest thing I've had to learn, and I'm not nearly to the scale that you are, but that everybody is so different. The way they want to live life is different. How they receive feedback and need feedback mm -hmm. is different. And being able to really step back and understand all those things to then be able to have better conversation and present ideas yep. and create goals and game plans. Yeah. You, again, you can't do none of that without establishing like a foundational relationship with mm -hmm. people. And if you, if you can't break through to them that way, as soon as you have a tough conversation, they're not going to receive it well and they're going to think you're out for them. So when they know there's trust there and, and they're not trying to stab you in the back, they're going to be like, okay, I can take it. 